Joshua knows that in a little while he's going to die. And so he wants the people, the Israelites, to be faithful to God. Crumbs from Jarad. The tribes renew their covenant. Today's reading, Joshua 24, 1 to 13. Tomorrow's reading, Joshua 24, 14 to 29. I take them together because they speak on the same topic. Today's reading, what we see is Joshua explaining to the people how God has been faithful to them. And then in tomorrow's reading, we see how Joshua renews the covenant with Israel and God. So today's reading, Joshua takes them right through a kind of salvation history, starting with Abraham, how God called Abraham, and then God was with Isaac and Jacob, how God led them to Egypt, and there in Egypt, 430 years, the Lord was with them. And when they were in slavery, God saved them. The ten plagues that they had. And in all this, God was with them. Finally, God saved them through the crossing of the Red Sea, the 40 years in the desert, and then brought them to the promised land, giving their enemies into their hands. God has been constantly a faithful God. And that's what Joshua reminds the people. In response, Joshua says, Now you be faithful to God. You have idols before you. Cast away all your idols and be faithful to the true God. In a way, it's a kind of message for us also. We too have our idols. The money idol, the work idol, the entertainment idol, the mobile idol. All these, Joshua told the people in those days, today we are once again reminded to cast away our idols and be faithful to God. Joshua says, as for me and my family, we will serve the Lord. And then places the choice before the people. Will you be faithful to God, keeping only to God, or will you turn towards idols? And the people say, we will serve the Lord alone. And now for you, a minute meditation. Joshua mentions a whole list of ways in which the Lord has saved the Israelites a kind of salvation history for them. In your case, can you pinpoint three significant events where you have seen clearly the hand of God working in your life? And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son and Holy Spirit. Have a wonderful day with Jesus.